Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dr. Tim Liptrap and we are in our Principles of Finance class. Today we are looking at the stock valuation chapter in our finance class. The question is the basic stock value using a dividend. So let me introduce this to you. The problem set is that we have an XYZ company which just paid a dividend of $2.95 $2 per share on its stock. The dividends are expected to grow at a constant rate of 5% a year indefinitely, that means forever. If an investor requires a 10.5% return on the stock, what would be the current price? And then what would be the price in three years? Well, the way that we solve this is using the constant dividend growth model. It's a relatively simple model. So we are looking for the price with the time. So this is the P over the T. That's what we're looking for. Then we are looking for, we, we have the dividend, which is D with the T for time, times that's multiplied by the 1 plus the G, which is the growth rate. And then we're going to divide that by R, which is the rate that we are needing, which is the 10.5%. That's a required return minus the growth rate. So the way that the calculation works out looks like this. It is the, we put the equation in place, and it's $2.95, which is what we've got from the equation, $2.95 per share, times 1.05, which is the 1 plus the G. So that's a constant rate of 5%, so that's what it is, over the what we're required, the 10.5%, you notice this is what this is what catches a lot of students. Instead of writing 10.5%, we should be writing 0 0.105. That's the proper way of doing it right there. That's where most students have their issues because they write 10.5 versus 0 0.105. Okay, let's get back to this. R minus the G minus the 0 0.05. Okay, so and that equals 56.32. So you multiply those out and divide it by this, and same thing. Now, the the next piece is we are looking to do this for a three-year time period. So we have the numbers. So we know what P3 is. So it says the dividend at year four is a dividend today multiplied by the FVIF for the, the future, okay, the FVIF for the growth rate in dividends in four years. So P3, which is, that's our price in three years, is equal to D3 times the one plus G over the one over the R minus the G. So the way that we're gonna do this is you notice there's a little four right here to the fourth. Well, we're looking for the third year, so we're gonna go one more year out on that. So if you were to do this for say 15 years, you would put a 16 there. If you would do it for 20, you do it for tw you put a 21 in. It's one more year out. So, DO 295. That's our dividend times the 1.05 to the fourth minus over the 1.05 to the, minus the 0.05, and your three-year price with a new dividend with a constant growth dividend of 5% is going to be $65.20. That is with the dividend and the 5% growth rate. Okay, Relatively simple. What catches most people is that little 4 when you're looking for the 3-year, 5 when you're looking for the 4-year, etc. cetera. 